Liz. Hi, Scotty. It's Liz and Scotty's Potty, courtesy of today's Best Country Clear 99. We appreciate you searching and finding this podcast, however you have done so. And uh, something kind of special today that we're excited about, we've been uh, wanting to share for quite some time. And it all revolves around an old friend of Clear 99's. You all remember uh, Carissa Lathan, who then became uh, Carissa Culliner when she got married. Of course, worked here at Clear 99. She was in Los Angeles, was on the E! Network for a while. Well, Liz and I have noticed recently, Liz especially, because uh, Liz is almost a stalker of Carissa. Yeah, I'm a super fan, super <laughs> to fan. say the least. Um for several different reasons. Number one, you've met her and you've realized that she's one of the most wonderful people walking the planet. Mm-hmm. But there's always been this thing with Liz, too, that Carissa used to hang out in L.A. and do interviews with all of those reality TV stars <laughs> that Liz loves so much. Yep. She's an entertainment industry guru, and I just love that kind of stuff. Yeah. So whenever I see her, I'm like, give me all of the details. We, we went to, to lunch the first time, uh, and Liz was so excited to meet Carissa. And she, w- she was telling me beforehand, like, don't, don't let me, like, get too geeky. <laughs> yeah. And I want to ask her about uh, this thing on this show and this thing, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to be that person. It was so fun and so sweet. Um, and, of course, Carissa was willing to answer any of oh, your yes. questions. Yeah, she is the sweetest person yeah. out there. So good. But back to the original point, we've seen more and more pictures of uh, Carissa doing interviews and other things from Nashville with country stars, and it just seems like there's something going on there. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to reach out to Carissa and find out the details. Dude, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I am busy trying to get my home together in Tennessee. Well, that's the reason we're calling. By the way, you remember my friend Elizabeth. Hi, Liz. Hi, Carissa. How's your baby? Baby is good. She is kicking. Oh, that's exciting. (laughs) I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So it's not unusual for us to see pictures of you in Nashville, but it seems like there have been a lot of pictures (laughs) of you in Nashville. Is, Is there some reason for this that we're not aware of yet? Well, there is a slight reason. I have just became the co-host of CMT Hot 20 Live Countdown. Hey, how about that? Congratulations, Carissa. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. And I actually called it the Live Countdown because uh, this Saturday is their first ever live shot show. And it's a really special one because the CMT Awards are Monday. And so we've been prepping for that all week long, and it's been so exciting. I cannot wait. I mean, we have, like, Kelsey Ballerini, Jimmy Allen, so many people joining us. There's performances. It's like country music show on steroids. <laughs> That's awesome. And you guys, you guys are going to be a part of the awards show, too, or at least backstage, right? Yes, we're doing a whole special leading up to the show. So this is the first time also ever that the CMT Awards is going to be airing on CBS. So even if you don't have cable, you can watch it, which is very exciting. Wow. But we are going to be doing um, a CMT Awards red carpet special on CMT leading up to the show. So tune in for that. And then we'll be backstage doing interviews. And I've been told, Scotty, you'll you'll enjoy this, the power of show business. Uh, I was like, so do we get to take the stage? You know, we are the host of the CMT, you know. <laughs> right. And they said, well, maybe if, if we have a hole to fill. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so we'll be on standby. If they have a hole to fill, then maybe you'll see us on stage at the show. Okay, so fingers crossed there's a hole to fill so we can see you on stage. <laughs> yes, and I've told Cody already, be prepared to be slapped in the face so I can create a viral moment. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. you got to get your money's worth if you're going to be on stage. <laughs> right. If you're going to put me up there, I'm going to slip and fall on purpose or something. i got to go viral somehow. <laughs> now, I would think that that... That's the the difficulty of that position is it might be one of those all of a sudden in 15 seconds they need you to go and hey here's what you've got to talk about go and so there's like no prep time or anything i know and i'm sure there'll be either a very generic script like hi i'm carissa and this is cody we host the hot 20 countdown here's the nominees for Best female video. It'll be something either super boring or it'll be a cheesy joke that we've had no time to <laughs> script read or prepare or 
try to make work. And so we'll just be those people that probably look extremely awkward. Yeah. And um, the ones that you sit back and watch and you think, really? They had all that time and that's what they came up with? Right. That's what I always say about people who have weak jokes whenever they <laughs> announce this. Well, I feel like we kind of skipped over the headline a little bit because we wanted to talk about what was going on at CMT. but. But basically, you have a job on CMT. This is like what you've wanted for how long now? Well, do you remember? You probably don't remember. So before I became the co-host of Clear 99, if everybody remembers Teresa Davis, she was the programming director back then. Yeah. Um, and we've lost her since then. I miss her so much. But I remember her coming to me after I graduated college, and she said, look, I know that you want to go to Nashville and be on CMT. However, would you consider doing radio on the morning show first? And I said, well, 2008, the job market's pretty crappy right now. (laughs) Yeah, I'll I'll try that. (laughs) And And so that's how it all started. Thank God I did not just go to Nashville at 18 and try to make it out. I never would have got the job. Um, And then fast forward a few years, you know not that far away from 18, uh, a few years and, uh, fast forward a few years. And now it's finally happened. I have the dream job I always wanted. I get to live in the city. I've been dying to live in my whole life and just every, we own our home. We have a yard. I know that sounds so silly to all the people in Missouri, but when you've lived in LA for eight years, a yard is a big deal. Right. Uh, so we're very excited. All the things are finally working out and it's just, you know, it's God's timing. You never know when things are going to happen and it definitely never happens right when you think it's going to, but um, you keep working towards it and it happens. What's your favorite part about the job so far? My favorite part is it's just so stress-free. I mean, everyone I work with is so cool and so chill. Obviously, I love country artists. Uh, They're easy to talk to. They're fun to talk to. It literally feels like fun. I don't feel like I'm going to work at all. Even the up and comers, it's just exciting because they're so excited to talk to you. They're so excited because their dreams are starting to finally come true. And it's just a contagious energy of positivity and excitement and happiness. It's just very warm. You know, there's not... I'm coming from E, right? Like, there's not a lot of scandal I'm worried about. There's not a lot of like, <laughs> right. trickiness I'm trying to tiptoe around. There's not a lot of like super invasive questions I'm trying to get out of them. It's just fun. It's relaxing. I mean, we still have really cool talks and we still, you know, have very revealing conversations. And But it's just a different feel. Um, everything about it is just more relaxed, more calm, and more fun. And just a, a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff for, for uh, the folks here in Clare Country. Th- this has kind of been in the works for a little bit. You've, you've been doing some stuff for CMT, but I think people would get a kick out of those interviews that you were doing. Where were you doing those interviews from? <laughs> the basement of my parents' house in <laughs> Jefferson City, Missouri. We set up a little CMT studio down there, and... Uh, <laughs> That's where I was zooming into whenever now that COVID protocols have lifted some, thank goodness we can be in person. But yeah, all of those Zoom interviews I had to do were out of my parents' basement. And back to a little bit even more behind the scenes, uh, nobody knows this really, but this talk with CMT, I mean, yes, I've started working with CMT a little bit late last year, but I've been talking to CMT behind the scenes for years. Oh my gosh. Um, this has been a plan that I've been trying to make happen. Um, of course, all the decks had to be in a row. Everything had to work out with my contract at E and moving my family across the country and trying to buy a home in this crazy market. I mean, there was a lot of factors that had to fall into place to be able to get where we're at, but... Um, yeah, it's that, oh, she just got a job. I'm like, yeah, I did, but I mean, I've been <laughs> working on this a lot longer than people realize. Yeah. It's just like those number one songs that we play on the radio. It's like, those artists have been there for quite yeah. some time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So um, everything takes time, but I'm so excited. Yeah, it's, it's 
very, very fun. And Nashville's so cool. How sad was your mom that you were going to have to move out and go to Nashville? I know she had to love having you there for a while. You and the grandbabies. I mean, I'm sure she loved having you there. But. No, she, I would think it was more about the grandbabies. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think, you know, she she totally knows that this has been a dream for a really long time. And she knows I've always wanted to live in Nashville. So she is extremely happy, and my dad is very proud. He finally knows where I work. I mean, he could not understand what E was forever. <laughs> um, and now he's like, oh, CMT, awesome, and watches every weekend. But, yeah, they definitely miss them. But now we're only a drive away. This yeah. is so much easier than a flight to Los Angeles. So they're grateful for that. Yeah. How the baby's doing? They're so good. Today was their first day at their Tennessee school. And this was Zoe's actually first day at a school in general. Um, she was so excited. She walked in. And then the moment she realized I wasn't staying and I was leaving, she had a total meltdown, which uh. brought tears to my eyes. And then I had to walk to the car. But I've already got a picture from her teacher and said she chilled out in five minutes. So Well, like, that's okay. good. <laughs> yeah. I prepared them. I actually put her in a sweater that said Little Miss Sassy Pants. I'm like, I just want you guys to know what you're signing up for with her, okay? I'm just going to put it there into. on her shirt. Chase, on the other hand, was just so excited. He walked right up and he says to the teacher, hey, we're the new kids. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. And she's like, yeah, hi, welcome. <laughs> and so he he was excited. He's happy to, he's a little social butterfly. He's already learning everyone's names and I already got a te uh, text from the teacher, too, about how he's already making friends so fast. That's cool. And now are they loving Nashville, too? Well, they've only been here for, like, three days. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so every time we visited Nashville, because we've been coming back and forth, we've been taking Chase to Chuck E. Cheese. So he actually thinks Nashville is, like, the Chuck E. Cheese headquarters <laughs> and loves Nashville for that reason. Right. So he thinks Nashville's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Well, it, this is very exciting on a lot of different levels. And, and Liz and Carissa and I had lunch together one time when she was in town several months ago. And this was all kind of starting. And, and uh, Carissa told us, she goes, the, the, the plans are in place, but we're not sure. So we, we've just been chomping at the bit to, like, make the official announcement. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell me about it. I've been chomping at the bit to make the official announcement, too. I had to wait so long. I was yeah. like, oh, my gosh. So it's live this week. Everything's special because the CMT Awards are Monday. But just like on yep. a regular old Saturday, you're going to be on every, it's every Saturday morning, right? Every Saturday and Sunday morning on CMT, it's counting down the top 20 music videos out at the time, country music videos. And we also are just filled with interviews. So this job's pretty cool. I get to travel to different festivals all across the country and interview stars all over the place. I went to an alpaca farm uh, last weekend. It's just different places. We do fun interviews. And so you get to see um, just a bunch of interviews and listen to country music. It's really a perfect show to put on, especially whenever you're, you know, busy on a Saturday morning, having breakfast, making for the kids, keeping them busy, listening to some good music, and seeing some of your favorite country stars. And Liz and I got to meet Cody Allen when we went down to uh, the CMAs last fall, and uh, he seemed like a, a really good guy. He's been doing that for a long time, so it's kind of cool to work with him, isn't it? Yeah, he's been there for 13 years. This wow. show has been on for over 20 years, wow. and that is both those things are unheard of, um, which also just makes me so proud to be a part of this family now. Um, the longevity in this career of being on the same show and the same show actually being on the air for that long is so rare. So it's, it's quite an honor to not only work with him, but to be just a part of this team. So it, it's pretty, pretty special, and he is the most welcoming sincere sweetest guy he's a little bit like you scotty mm -hmm. um and <laughs> makes you feel so comfortable and he's just the best yeah so i'm excited to get to know him even better and continue working with him and he's been nothing but sweet and welcoming well good
Good, yeah. good, good. That's exciting stuff. I know. So whenever you guys come down and broadcast live from Nashville for the CMAs for the next time you guys win one, <laughs> I'll have to just crash your party. Absolutely. Krista, don't tell us twice. Uh, we'll come down there tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I think we. I think you should do a Clear 99 broadcast live from Carissa's basement in Nashville. <laughs> I think it would be great. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we can figure that out. <laughs> We can figure that out. And the other thing I was thinking is you can be our, like, official correspondent if there's Mm. something going on and and we need the real scoop. I mean, you want to talk about an insider. You're working for CMT. You're going to have the inside scoop (laughs) on some of this stuff. Oh, I've already learned so many things. You guys call me if you have any questions. I've got all the scoop. Okay. There's going to be some morning we're going to be talking about something. I'm just going to be like, hey, hang on. We're texting Carissa right now. We're just going to see what the answer to the question is. Go for it. Right. I will I will get to the bottom of it for you. I will be your research team. Nice. <laughs> Detective Carissa at our service. That's right. I'm happy to always, always be a part of the Clear 99 family. I consider myself a longstanding member. Oh, yeah. You can't kick me out. I'm just stuck in there. You're not allowed to be kicked out. <laughs> that's, that's like a tattoo. You're not getting rid of that. Oh, it's like on Yellowstone. They, you branded me. With <laughs> <That's> the <Y. laughs> uh, uh. Except this one's a little bit prettier than a Y on your chest. <laughs> right. Well, I love you guys. Thanks for your support always. I appreciate that. And I love you. And yeah, call me anytime. You, you may regret that, but we will. <laughs> I'm happy to talk to you guys anytime. How exciting is that? That was so fun. Congratulations, so, Carissa. So happy for uh, Carissa on so many levels. I mean, she's a friend of ours, which you're excited. She's a local girl that's, you know, seeing dreams come true, yeah. which is cool. And, you know, she sat here in this room with us for, for many, many years, too. So just a, a whole lot of levels of happiness right here for, for Carissa. It's crazy to think that she had this dream when she was 18 years old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she used to talk about it a lot. You know, I mean, that was always kind of the the thing down the line was she she wanted to get to CMT and and now she has. So we're very very happy and uh, no, you guys are are happy for you too. It's just one of those that people ask all the time about. Yeah, I saw Chris on this. Saw Chris on that. So just so glad to be able to share that news. And I know she was very glad to to share that news with you too about the the CMT stuff. So we will stay in touch with her. She'll stay in touch with us. We appreciate you. Uh, staying in touch with us through this Liz and Scotty's potty. Yeah, you can find us wherever you get podcasts. Just search for Clear 99 On Demand or just head to clear99.com and look for the podcast little button there. And on the new Clear 99 app as well. There's a whole section, On Demand section. It's real easy to listen to the to the podcast that way. So however you access us, whether it's those ways or just listening to the radio each morning, we Thank you so much for tuning in. Liz and Scotty, today's best country, Clear 99. It's a clear country morning. Hey, good morning. I have got all kinds of plants started to put in the garden. I've got peppers and tomatoes. And I think the most interesting thing I've got going this year is loofahs. I'm doing loofahs this year. Loofahs. Like and a, in the sponge. Like a loofah sponge, really? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. They say they're really hard to grow. I didn't even know you plant those. I didn't either. Yeah. I, I just thought that was something you bought at the store. Me too. I'll send you a picture and I'll send you the progress photo. Just should I lay them out on that little baby blanket with the one month, two months, yeah. all that stuff? Exactly. Uh, uh. All right. I'll send you baby pictures. Perfect. It's a clear